when talking about resurrection physical resurrection spiritual resurrection obviously many times the bible doesn't really differentiate between the two but obviously jesus was physically resurrected and his body was physically changed and therefore his body was able to function in heaven and on earth um, now when it comes to the passage you're quoting um, you have two different things there one the dead will hear the voice of the son of god and those who hear will live now that is actually talking about spiritually dead and when you hear the voice of god and respond you we will enter into the spiritual life um then then you go on to actually talk about do not be amazed for a time is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice now that's different um, and will come out those with good deeds to resurrection of life those committed bad deeds to the resurrection of judgment now in one sense there was a bodily resurrection when jesus was resurrected because according to matthew people came out of the tombs and gave witness and testimony to the power of resurrection for a while and i would um i would assume that they went back into heaven when jesus went back because they went back into a cloud and they were then part of the cloud of witnesses when during the period um that jesus said the generation uh, before the end of the fully end of the old and the beginning of the new there was lots of things that were going to take place and ultimately at the final end of the old and the beginning of the new that is when the resurrection did take place it's not a future resurrection for us it was a resurrection for them because all who were in the grave at that point and that was in sheol and there was two aspects of sheol those who were classed righteous were in paradise and those were who were not class righteous were in generally in sheol jesus led captivity captive so he took everyone out of there um, to finally end the old and beginning of the new and you can also read about that in daniel which actually talks about the the comparison between the end of the old the judgment of jerusalem and resurrection of the dead so that happened at that point not in a future now that doesn't mean that we won't see loved ones again um because you can see them now actually if you engage the cloud of witnesses if they're believers um you can engage them in the cloud of witnesses if they weren't then they've gone into the fire of god's love into his judgment and his judgment is not a judgment to death his judgment is a judgment to life but they have yet to receive that life because they've not come through jesus so those in the fire of God's love, the purification and refining of them continues until they accept Jesus and then they come into the same resurrection spiritually and, you know, in, in that way. But when you're in the realms of heaven, um, you don't need a physical body. Um, and when I'm there in the realms of heaven, I'm seeing myself in a spiritual form. Now, you know, there are those who didn't die, Enoch, Elijah, and others who still have a body but that body is not the same as the physical body just as jesus's wasn't the same as his physical body on earth there was a abilities that his body had to be into a dual realm so i think there's a lot more to understand about all of that but i do not believe there is a physical resurrection coming at the end of the age when everyone will get a new body anyone for me who is who is spiritually resurrected and who happens to die and then goes into that realm receives a a body like jesus um their actual physical body if they're either cremated or they're buried will actually decay so essentially you get a new way of living which is where spirit soul and body are in a heavenly perspective operating in a different way different dimension but i wouldn't be too concerned about thinking about the future um you know those in the graves will hear the voice of the son of god you know those in the tombs will hear that they have heard it they've already responded one way or another and those that were who did not respond or able to respond to jesus then were able to respond to jesus later so in a sense this has already taken place just as everything jesus said would happen in that generation has taken place some of it is spiritual some of it's physical 
you know there was a spiritual dimension of a new temple and there was a physical dimension where the old temple was destroyed so we are the new wineskin the temple of the holy spirit the old temple which was a, a model of the old thing where god was only in one place his glory in the temple that was also named heaven and earth um, and when the new heavens and the earth came which is effectively this new covenant life that we're living we are now the temple of the holy spirit and we're now the uh, the new jerusalem effectively corporately so again you know this is this is what i believe um some of these things i've experienced but of course you're entitled to a different opinion if you want there's no problem you feel free always take it back to god and see what the father will say to you directly but you can and will meet your deceased loved ones either now or in the future because there will be a change of ages when the restoration of all things comes to a completion then we'll move on to the ages to come and whatever that might be um, but those cloud of witnesses are surrounding us right now and are accessible to us um, i've i've visited uh, my father in that realm um, and others uh, and i've seen many of the cloud of witnesses who respond to us if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help Thank you very much.